Look at that. Officials have declared a state of emergency in the city, which is the territorial capital and home to 20,000 residents. It's red and pink everywhere. That is just remarkable to see this video. More than a thousand active fires continue to burn across the country. Oh, so sad to see. Let's go check in with First Alert Chief Meteorologist yeah. Matt Engelbrecht. Engelbrecht, I'm sorry. There is just so much happening across the country yeah. right yeah. now. Yeah, and it, it's tough. Yeah. Uh, we have an hour, and which one do you focus on? Yeah. Because there's there's multiple. You got uh, a tropical storm that we're going to talk about right now. You got yeah. the fires in Hawaii. You also have the fires in Canada. And they're also looking at an extreme drought in the Texas, Louisiana that could be doused with a significant amount of rainfall and you didn't even mention next week's heat <laughs> it's like heat. so much going on uh, but it is it is all connected yes. so uh, come with me and now uh, we'll show you just how these things start to line up now we'll start with the live radar and then zoom everything back out now uh, it's uh, the butterfly flaps its wing type analogy now uh, with this so live radar uh, right now we got uh, some light showers or i should say light to moderate showers moving through not thunderstorms this is going to be a quick hitting fast moving that uh, downpour it results about a tenth of an inch of rainfall there are some thunderstorms that disconnected from this cell back down here to the south, just now moving out of Plymouth uh, to the east, if not the southeast. And again, some lightning in there. Severe weather threat remains very low, but if you have practices this evening, uh, you do want to keep that in mind. And then a third cell down near Winnemac and Rochester that's moving off to the east. This is all a line that these storms are firing off of. That line is moving off to the east. When you're on the other side of those three storms, you're done with the rain chances for the night tonight. So let's connect it all. Uh, like I said, uh, in terms of uh, the global circulation, what's going on, we can actually connect the heat next week to what's going on with that tropical system off our west coast. Now this is a low pressure system that's moving off to the east, but look at all that clean real estate back out here to the west. We see what's uh, going on with now Hurricane Hillary possibly impacting uh, California and back up here towards the north. What this system is doing, this is Monday at 8 a.m., uh, possibly a, a tropical storm, a degrading tropical storm, uh, but a lot of rainfall nonetheless into Southern California uh, by Monday at 8 a.m. moving up towards the north. A track like that does not happen unless you have a pattern like this. So that's kind of how everything is connected. Where here, we're going to be in the 90s, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, that system's going to be riding on the outside of this ridge. I expect dry conditions, again, 90 to maybe 92 degrees in some areas. Uh, not to extremely hot, uh, but enough uh, to where if you're going back to school, if you don't have air conditioning, it is going to be uncomfortable Sunday, Monday, uh, and Tuesday. The other part of this, it doesn't really break down. This is Wednesday. We still have this ridge. The heat is still in and across the Midwest. Things start to cool down, not because of the temperatures, but because of that tropical rainfall and the cloud cover associated with it on the West Coast. That's why we lose some of the heat by next Wednesday. Like I said, so things are connecting. There's another system that we're keeping a very close eye on in the Gulf of Mexico, which is a toasty warm. Those water temperatures that we're going to be following right here in the First Lord Weather Center through the weekend and next week. As the future track, this is Thursday at 4 p.m. 71 degrees right now, or not uh, later on uh, in uh, Plymouth, cooling off in the lower 70s with a northwest wind. So you remember yesterday uh, we talked about uh, a chance of some cooler air in the forecast. That's our Friday. Once we get through our Friday, it's going to be back up into the 80s and the 90s. So if tomorrow is your first football game, or if it's your you know, two, 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 maybe 30, 30, 33rd, something like that, uh, it is going to be cool if not cooler than average. If you're going out to watch some of these games, you may want a light jacket. We'll double check that Friday forecast for you coming up in just a little bit. And we'll revisit what's going on nationally and, and show you how it's connected to here. Okay, appreciate that. Yep. Sounds good. Thank you, sir. Sure. Hey, Travelers,